Any one of you out there who creates a three minute trailer gets a spanking. Damn. Who the dude hitting with a damn good topic? Yes, and I do believe that we did a, um, a it was either a podcast or one of our classrooms on that. It was a podcast. So that, that that's a good one. Yeah, it was about marketing and we go over trailers. Mm -hmm. So actually having a trailer topic is not a bad idea. I'm kind of liking that. Oh no, I, I like it. Yeah. I want to I want to do a deep dive into this because having a trailer is so important for your marketing and your promotion Ain't lying. and and getting your game out there that yes you do need to do the trailer right so what do people want to see in a trailer that's a good question um and it depends on if it's a cinematic trailer a gameplay trailer a teaser etc etc each one has its own particular purpose uh, a teaser okay. trailer is literally that it's just a tease you know it's like usually less than a minute it usually shows mm -hmm. something that gives just enough information that people go, hmm, I want to learn more about this game, but it doesn't give any meat away. It's usually uh, very beautiful visually mm -hmm. and and has a rockin' soundtrack. Yeah, or it's super mysterious. Like the, uh, the teaser trailer for the next Dragon Age game is literally just like the glyph of the Dread Wolf and Solus is yeah. talking in the background. And that's it. Mm -hmm. That's all you get. Teaser trailers also can and should uh, build off of the IP that already exists. 100%. That's correct. Yes. yes. So in that instance, yes, it would be hard to have a successful teaser trailer for a brand new game property. Yes. And if you did, then it would be the most glitzy, glamorously show off all the awesomeness, you know, coming soon from Studio Blue. And you would have like a, a gear, a really close up of a gear. And then it would pull back, pull back, and you'd see more gears. Then it pull back and you'd sew a machine. Then it would pull back and you'd show part of this, this large uh, structure. And then it would pull back even more. And you would see this large gondola. And it would pull back even more. And that gondola is going into the Steampunk London. That's a teaser. I feel teased. I'm gonna drink Yay. some water. Okay. <laughs> Get some water. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but usually the these sorts of teaser trailers have this awesome orchestral score and lots of eye candy and, and they're really short. But I think a really good trailer shows you ex samples of the game. What can I expect in this game? Yes. And it's, it's a mix of both. You should have a trailer for cinema, a trailer for gameplay, a trailer that has a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. But don't just have one or the other. Because right. I, I know some, some uh, game studios have done one or the other because of reasons. Either, they're, either they just don't have the time or the budget or heaven forbid they just don't see the point and the, it gives a rather lopsided view of the game and the whole point of this is to promote your game no, i agree if you have just a cinematic trailer all you're showing is the beauty that the game can contain and if you just show a mm -hmm. gameplay trailer you're just showing how it plays and yeah. I, I agree you, you really should have both so if you're going to create both and honestly, I think you should have all three. You should have a gameplay trailer, a cinematic trailer, and one that combines the two. That's kind of like an overall, maybe even a final trailer if you want to do it like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think the first thing that you're really going to want to do with a trailer is decide what the trailer is supposed to do. And that's a huge ass marketing question. Woo, it certainly is. Yeah. 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 Um, um, yeah. And, and get, getting okay go ahead go ahead well i'm thinking because i wanted to talk about what rocky was yeah, saying yeah so. so i'm gonna go over really quickly three things in my head about how this works and then you can go ahead and, and continue um because a cinematic trailer has got to be mapped out to show your best moments straight up cinematic trailer straight up your best moments it doesn't have to be cut scenes from the game that have spoilers but like let's say you're playing some kind of a viking war game you're gonna to wanna to show a war with Vikings like Danes versus the English. You're gonna to wanna to show that shit. You know, show the, the armies of King Alfred fighting against, you know, the armies of the Danes that are whatever. I, I can't pick up a good 
historical reason because I've been watching too much Last Kingdom. But you want to uh -huh. you want to show that if you have a lot of intrigue, you want to have a cinema of something in the court where this character is trying to whisper in this character's ear and trying to turn them against the marquee over there. You know, stuff like that. If you have a gameplay trailer, showcase the best parts of your mechanics. Show them features. Show the features. And if you're going to do a mm -hmm. hybrid, make sure it's everything that the player is going to see that's going to draw them in and make them want to play the game. So your highest possible moments, the most interesting characters, the best eye candy, the flashiest graphics, and the mechanics that they're going to be playing with the most during the core gameplay loop. I will shut up now. Okay. Well, um, you pretty much spelled it out, uh, what the, the different points. Yeah. I went on um, a rant. Yeah, I really, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. from a marketing standpoint, which would you say is the most important first, I guess? Which would you show first? Oh, from a marketing standpoint, uh, it depends. Now, if this is a brand new property, then show the cinema. Get 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 some hype, get some interest in this. You know, wow, what an orchestral score! And and look at those those, you know, gorgeous birds and and uh, you know what what's what's beyond that misty door? Okay, you got their interest. Now, draw them in. Have your gameplay trailer. Yeah. Makes sense. And and show them, you know, actually this is this is how the game plays. You know, look how smooth the controls are. Look how easy the the menu is to read. Uh look, look at you know, the UX looks like it's something I could get into. Yeah. yeah. The UI. Yeah. So that that's and and that right there is I think a good blueprint for, for any property, whether it's new or existing. Also, you mentioned something, um, and I actually think this is a really good rule of thumb. Have the trailer leave the prospective player with questions. Mm -hmm. Don't answer your questions. Create your questions. What's behind the door? Who's the person behind the mask? What's mm -hmm. in the dark castle? What is the princess's secret? Right. Yeah, and, and that, that touches upon something Roxy said about spoilers. Mm -hmm. You know, don't don't show spoilers. Yeah, don't, don't even show the events leading up to to a spoiler. Right. Um, you know, just just stay away from that. Uh, another thing is, craft your trailer to to mimic your actual gameplay experience. What can they actually experience? Yeah. Um, someone briefly talked about the fake mobile ads. I think it's a little bit beyond this, other than to say don't do that shit. If it's not in the game, if it's not indicative of gameplay, don't show yeah. it. Don't show it. That's skeezy. Yeah. It's skeezy and it's stupid. And, and I'm going to use a movie example. Uh, don't make a trailer look like the movie's a comedy when it's a horror. Yes. Oh, God. If your game is a horror game, own it. If your game is a romance, own it. If your game is whatever, mm -hmm. own it. Show that. Mm -hmm. Don't try. Show it. Don't try to attract one crowd for another type of game. It never works out. Ooh, yeah. Um, here's another good one. Here's another good one. Um, have your trailer continuously show some kind of an action, and I don't mean by action being like an action sequence. Okay, I mean something like happening on screen. We have seen a lot of trailers in various communities. Um, unfortunately, the RPG Maker community is one of the biggest sinners, but all communities have done this. All indie devs have done this where mm -hmm. character walks on a map, talks to somebody. Character stands out looking over the bridge, says something. There's these long pauses. Yeah. Don't do that in your trailer. Don't. That's boring. Don't. It is boring. You, yeah. you never want more than a couple of hundred milliseconds ever mm -hmm. of, of, of nothing happening. You know? Yeah. So if you have a game that is text box only, you know, and you have to get like this one statement said because it's a whoa, oh, what's going on statement. Then just mm -hmm. cut to that statement being said. Then cut yeah. away. 
300 milliseconds. Cut away. 300, 300 to 350 milliseconds. Just enough time, mm -hmm. a little under half a second for the brain to go, oh, what? And then move to something else. Always yeah. have something happening on screen. Oh, Illy Beans, <laughs> thank you so much for redeeming the 2,000 points for the... Ada, ada. Okay, so it's my turn. Oh, All shit, right, sorry. Here we go. I'll shut up. <laughs> me, 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 me. Okay. Ada, ada. Yeah, I saw my name. I thought it was asking. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, two for one. Yep, Billy, you got two for one. You got a two for right there. Yep. Feels out of out is better than mine. I can't out of out of. Not like Teal. We were talking about trailers. Yeah, but, what the, what? yeah we're talking about the trailer. <laughs> um, yeah, Rogue One. Don't use scenes from that are in the trailers that are not in the game. Please don't do that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Honestly. So, you know, oh, real, so trailers that have a realistic showcasing of your game that uh, promote the features and have something interesting, a hook that draws people in to want to play your game. Yeah. Yeah. But not the same as showing your five minute. Not, just, not the same as showing the hook when the game starts. Not that hook. A hook that makes them go, oh, I really want to see what this game is about. Like a good example would be uh, not so much a teaser trailer, although that was badass, but the trailer for the original Skyrim, the cinematic trailer where they're like, you know, mm -hmm. his name is Dovahkiin Hushruda. And at the very end, that has like the Nord Dovahkiin jumping to attack a dragon. And then it goes Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. I like to bring up Skyrim because it did a lot of things right. And one of the things it yeah. did right was its trailer. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. So learn from and that. And not to mention the, the musical score. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And it was the birth of a meme. You know, honestly, if your trailer or any aspect of your trailer becomes a meme, you know you won. Yeah. Your story. Because now you've got everybody's attention. Yeah. Uh, so that's another thing. When you're developing your trailers, whether it be cinematic, uh, gameplay, or a hybrid, try to create memorable moments. And by memorable moments, I don't mean stuff from the storyline that's going to be mem memorable, like standing over a cliff and going, I too have a destiny. That, that's fantastic. I love that. That's wonderful. I'm not going to remember that. What I'm going to remember is when your character jumps headlong into a pit with a sword and there's demons everywhere into the pit they're jumping in and they're going, Leroy Jenkins or whatever your version of that is. I mean, literally they're going, Wah! <laughs> I'm going to remember that. I'm not going to remember the cliff conversation. Yeah. Yeah. So be memorable, mm -hmm. action oriented, realistic, true, yeah. honest. Mm-hmm. <sighs> And short. And short. Thank you. Thank you. Any one of you out there who creates a three-minute trailer gets a spanking. Mm -hmm. Let me... Wait, hold on. I'm misjudging our audience. Any one of y'all that make a three-minute trailer does not get a spanking. <laughs> and you don't get cookies either. No cookies. You get denied cookies. No cookies. Yeah. Really good discussion. Really good. That was a good discussion. That was a good topic. Yes. Thank you for bringing that up, Kuda. And let us know in the comments what you think. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And let us know about your trailer. Link it in the comments section. Yeah, if you've worked on a trailer, what's, what are some of the things you've learned? Yeah. The good and the bad? Absolutely. You know, what, what kind of response did it generate? 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if you like what you saw, lay the smack down that like button below. Subscribe to our channel. Consider supporting us on Patreon. Connect with us over social media. And we'll see you in the next video. See you next time.